here. I maybe got COVID just to avoid breaking up with me. Hello, good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. I have been in a bit of a funk the last few days. The weather's been pretty cold and rainy and just blah, and I feel like that's really been affecting my mood. But I really want to pull myself out of that today and just have a nice day to myself and just like start feeling good again. Today is also supposed to be like 70 degrees, which I am very excited about. So I definitely wanna spend some time outside, enjoy the warmer weather. So I had my coffee already this morning. I watched the last episode of And Just Like That. Now I'm gonna hop in the shower because I feel so disgusting. My skin is like all red and gross and dry. I feel so much better. Also, I decided that I'm gonna rock a slight side part today. I part it down the middle pretty much all the time. So we're gonna try something a little bit different. And I'm just gonna let my hair air dry because I really don't feel like blow drying it and all that today. So I'm taking a little bit of the Paul Mitchell Invisible Wear Velvet Cream and I'm just gonna scrunch this into my hair. So it'll give it a little bit of definition and kind of help a little bit with the frizz, but without it feeling like crunchy or hard. I don't like the feeling of product in my hair. My little tip for the day, if you are feeling kind of in a funk, not feeling your best, not your most confident, take a nice shower, do a full body exfoliation, shave the works, do your skincare, lotion up do all the things that you need to do to make yourself feel really good and really clean sorry if you can hear the banging they're doing some kind of work in the hallway and then just stand in the mirror and look at yourself naked it is such a power move take it from somebody who has struggled with body image my whole entire life i am finally as i'm approaching 30 i'm getting to a point where i i'm actually like the heaviest that i've ever been but like the most confident in my body ever, which is so crazy. It's not every day, you know, of course there are some days where I'm just feeling like not my best and not good about myself, but there's just something about like looking at yourself in the mirror naked and just like admiring yourself. Like the female body is so beautiful, so sexy, no matter the size, shape, etc. Don't compare yourself to other people. Just like look at yourself and be like, damn bitch, you look good. I feel like my mood goes from either like super, super confident, badass bitch, like nobody can tell me anything, to like super insecure, feel gross about myself. But we're swinging back over to the confident bad bitch side. They're still working outside. Kind of loud. I don't know how much the camera's gonna pick up. And they're also like right outside my window, so. We have the blinds closed, but I am all ready to go. Wanted to share with you my little outfit. I feel like I just stepped off of like an 80s workout video set. I have this little cropped tank top from Primark, this cropped zip up hoodie from H&M, Adidas workout leggings, and Adidas sneakers. I feel like I have just been living in sweats the last few days and feeling very blah and gross. So I wanted to uh, wear something a little bit more form-fitting and embrace my body today. I also wanted to show you the earrings that I am wearing. I got two new Huggies, which I am obsessed with. They are so dainty and so beautiful. They are from Ana Luisa and they are sponsoring this portion of the vlog. Thank you so much to them. If you've been following me for a while, you know I have been working with them for quite a while now. Pretty much all the jewelry that I own is from them. If you are like me and you like more dainty gold pieces that are nice to wear on their own but are also really good for layering, then you will love Ana Luisa. I actually am gonna put on a necklace too that I also have from Ana Luisa because I feel like I could use a necklace. And I love this chain because it's really pretty on its own or you could easily stack it. I love layering a whole bunch of necklaces together. Ana Luisa makes really high quality pieces. I have a lot of jewelry from them. Actually this bracelet in fact. I have had this for about a year now and I never take it off, ever. I wear it in the shower, I wear it swimming. These earrings also, 
that I have on. I don't know if you noticed them earlier in the vlog, if you could see them, but I put these in a week or two ago when I first got them and I have not taken them out since. I wear them in the shower all the time. So if you're looking for jewelry that's gonna be high quality, that you don't have to worry about taking off every time you get in the shower, but you don't want to pay an arm and a leg. Ana Luisa is the perfect option. They're also carbon neutral, which is really amazing from their packaging down to their actual pieces. So we love that. We love companies that actually care about the environment. They're actually running a Valentine's Day sale right now. So if you go to the link in my description, all of their pieces are buy one, get one 40% off. Their jewelry pieces make great gifts especially with Valentine's Day coming up. I think you should definitely take advantage of that sale. Maybe get something for someone that you love and then keep the other piece for yourself or just get both pieces for yourself. So yeah, check out the link in my description. Take advantage of that discount. But yeah, let's grab my bag and head out. I'm gonna see how I'm feeling and how the weather is feeling outside. I definitely wanna take Benny for a walk. And if it's feeling really nice, maybe we'll even go walk on the beach for a bit. And then we also need to go grocery shopping. I don't know what I wanna have for dinner tonight, but I do want to make myself a nice meal. There's like no one on the beach right now. It's kind of nice and it just feels so good. It's warm and humid. And I'm actually really happy that I decided to just wear my hair natural because if I blew it out, it would have been a disaster. <laughs> Real frizzy mess right about now. It's a few hours later. I ended up walking on the beach, obviously, as you saw. And then I went grocery shopping. And while I was at the store, I saw this, which intrigued me. I've never tried this before. This is the Tazo Refresher, Tazo Tazo Refreshers Iced Watermelon Cucumber. How refreshing does that sound? So, wanted to try it. Not usually like a sweet beverage kind of person. Like I honestly only ever drink water or plain coffee. Oh, it says it only has seven grams of sugar. So, for three quarters of a cup and 35 calories. So hopefully it's not too sweet. It says I should combine it with equal parts water or seltzer. Whoops. I guess I should have read that first. Well, let's see how it tastes. Yeah, it definitely needs water. Okay, I diluted it down a little bit. That is very refreshing. Just like the refreshers at Starbucks. Is this something that I would get again? Mm, maybe, but like not on a regular basis. It's pretty good though. What time does it say on the receipt? It says issued 8.53. Oh, okay, there you go. Right, that's what I was saying. Because if they gave me the ticket at 9, because I know that I got there, like I said, a few minutes before 9, before my appointment, and then I had put two hours in, and then from there, after my two hours were up, I added more time on the app. And the app says that I put in at 10.50. I added more time to it. Funny story, I just got off the phone with my mom. She was calling me because I got a parking ticket in the mail from the beginning of December when I had went to get my hair done. It was right before I had moved. They have like on street meter parking, but it's not like one of those old school meters where you put coins in. It's like, you know, down on the corner. You have to like type in your license plate, pay with a card, print, it prints out a little receipt. I know for a fact, that I did that. I paid for my parking. And when I was there, she was telling me like, oh, you don't really have to worry about it because they rarely give tickets around here. Like I almost never pay for my parking, but whatever, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Get done with my appointment, go out to my car. Every single car on that block around me has a parking ticket, but my car did not because I paid for the parking. But apparently they gave me a ticket anyway. It just mysteriously wasn't on my car, but was still on all the other cars around mine, I don't know. And now because it's like so late, it went from being a $10 ticket to a $50 ticket. My mom had the receipt for my parking because she has an app where you like scan your receipts and then you can get gift cards and stuff like that. So right before I had moved, I gave her a big handful of receipts that I had in my car and that parking receipt happened to be one of them and she was able to open up that app and find the picture of the receipt that she took. So 
Now I have the actual physical receipt showing that I paid for the parking in the morning. They gave me the ticket at 9 a.m. and it shows on this receipt that I paid at 8.53 and it was good until 10.53. So I'm gonna call them tomorrow and dispute it and hopefully it won't be a big issue and they'll be able to just take all of that off no problem. What are the chances? I never hold on to receipts for things and I was trying to like pull it up in my banking app but obviously it doesn't show on there like the exact time or anything. At first I was a little stressed because I was like, oh now like I don't have any way to prove, I know I paid it but I have no way to prove this. It's just gonna kinda be like my word against theirs, I guess. Now I actually have physical proof. It's time to make some dinner. Uh, oh, there we go. These prints that my mom had printed out for me arrived earlier today and I framed them and hung them up. The hanging those up was such a pain in the ass because they're right above my couch and I couldn't reach because I'm only 5'2 and you know, I couldn't like use a ladder because the couch, I mean, I guess I technically could have tried to move the couch. Anyway, I was like stacking up couch cushions on my tippy toes and like now with this, I mean, yeah, I could have got the step ladder, but it's little things like that every so often that I'm like, damn, I kind of miss having a man around for like little things like that, but it's very empowering when you can just do shit by yourself. So tonight we are making some salmon with some roasted red pepper and basil quinoa and then we're gonna make some green beans. I'm gonna do the salmon in the air fryer cause that's gonna be the fastest, easiest thing. The green beans I'm going to roast in the oven. Let's get the oven preheated to 400. Are there any new podcast episodes? Oh, I have two that I haven't listened to yet. My two favorite podcasts are Crime Junkie and Crime Weekly, but there's two new Crime Junkie episodes that I haven't listened to yet. So I'm gonna play those while I cook. I'm just basically gonna cut up the salmon, drizzle a little olive oil, salt and pepper on top, put it in the air fryer for, I don't know, I'm gonna start at 10 minutes and then see if it needs any more time after that. And then the green beans, I'm just going to, same thing, drizzle with olive oil, salt and pepper, put that in the oven at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. And then this has to cook for about 20 minutes too. Super easy, but it's gonna be real delicious and a nice healthy meal. Cause that's the thing too, I feel like when I am stuck in a funk, I tend to get lazy and I don't wanna cook for myself. So I eat a lot of like quick, frozen meals or I'll get takeout. And obviously it's really important to take care of our health, eat right. And there's just something that feels so good about like taking the time to prepare a healthy meal for myself. And just knowing that I'm like taking that time to care for myself, you know, it feels really good. I'm your host, Ashley Flowers. And I'm Britt. And the story I have for you today is as infuriating as it is heartbreaking. <laughs> with him because he was trying to do something to her. A hundred percent sure how that happened? Let's connect the dots. Just before 10 p.m. Dinner is served. I'm gonna eat this while I watch some YouTube. I I am ready to take off my makeup for the night. So I'm gonna share with you guys my skincare routine. First, I'm gonna wash my hands. And then I'm going to use some coconut oil. They make so many like makeup melting balms and oils and stuff, but coconut oil is so much cheaper and it works so well. Somebody one time had said like, oh, you shouldn't really use coconut oil on your face. It can clog your pores. But I figure if I'm just using it to remove my makeup and then I'm double cleansing after and I'm like fully removing the oil, then I feel like it should be okay. I've been doing this now for almost a year and I haven't noticed that it's like caused any issues with my skin or any breakouts or anything like that. And then I'm gonna take this face sponge thing that I got from Amazon and just use this to remove all of that makeup. 
And then I'm going to use my Circadia Micro Exfoliating Honey Cleanser. This is a professional only product, um, but it reminds me a lot of the Tatcha Exfoliating Cleanser. I used to use that one too. And I take a hot washcloth. Oh my god, this is my favorite part of the day. <laughs> I am at a point in my life, I've been here for a few years now, where I will never skip my skincare routine. It doesn't matter how late I get home, how drunk I am, I will always wash my face and do my full routine. And I think if you make a routine that's enjoyable for you and you find products that you really like and you see results from using those products, it'll make you not want to skip it as well. But like doing that hot washcloth, I'm not even kidding, it is my favorite part. Mm, it's a close tie between that and my first cup of coffee in the morning. Those are like my two favorite things in the whole world but I just I love that and I look forward to it and it feels so good to just have a nice fresh clean face and all your skincare on so cleansing twice just to make sure I got all the makeup and coconut oil and everything off Next, I'm going to take some vitamin C suspension from The Ordinary. This has been helping to fade any like little dark spots I have from previous acne. So you could put this all over. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I will just concentrate it on any spots I want to fade. And then I'm taking some of the Nighttime Repair Facial Lotion from Circadia. Then I'm taking the vitamin C eye cream from Liliana Naturals. They sent this to me a while ago and I have been using this consistently, like morning and night for months now and it still hasn't run out. And I really like it. It has made my under eyes so, so soft. The next thing I'm applying is this Nivea cream. This is the thickest most hydrating cream I have ever used in my entire life but it's like real heavy so I would not use this on a regular basis but when it's cold and your skin is like really getting dry and crusty this stuff does the trick and I'm going to put my serums on. This is the Grande Brow Brow Enhancing Serum and the Grande Lash Lash Enhancing Serum. Put this on my top and bottom lash line. This stuff seriously works. It has made my lashes so long and healthy. And then the Brow Serum. Now I'm taking the 100% organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil from The Ordinary. Just take some of that and then whatever's left over I just rub on my neck and decolletage. Palmer's cocoa butter lip balm. Oh I hate when I have oil or something sticky on my face and I can feel that there's a hair stuck to me but I can't find it. I'm going to do some white strips. I've just been doing this like every so often at night just to help keep my teeth looking nice and white and I just use the Brilliance White. So I'm gonna leave these on for 30 minutes and then brush my teeth and go to bed. I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for 
supporting my channel and being here every week it means so much to me my online community is truly like my support system whenever i am feeling really down pulling out the camera and vlogging i don't know it forces me to get my shit together i just want you to know i never take that for granted that's gonna be it for this vlog thank you so much for watching don't forget to check the link in my description to Anna Luisa so you can take advantage of their buy one get one 40% off Valentine's Day sale and I'll see you very soon in my next video bye